Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create a very popular transition effect. It's used in a lot of travel videos especially and it's called the Luma Fade Effect. Um, it's very overused, and, you know, like the same three effects are used in every single video that you see by any travel YouTuber. Uh, but I'm still going to teach it because I think in some scenarios it looks really good. But yeah, with that being said, hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is put the first clip on top of the second clip um, and you want to apply the built-in effect called Luma Key on the first clip. Go on effects and we're going to search up Luma Key. You can also use uh, something called Gradient Wipe. It creates a very similar effect. It's a little bit different, but it's basically the same. The only reason I would use Gradient Wipe over uh, Luma Key is because you can adjust like the smoothness of the transition or like the softness of the transition, not the smoothness. And you can also invert but it still doesn't create that same effect that you see other people creating. And in a lot of instances, it doesn't look as cool. So we're gonna use a Luma key instead. We're gonna apply it to the first clip right here. And now you want to set a keyframe where the second clip starts or where you want your transition to start. So in this case, you wanna start it right here. Make sure you're selected on the top clip always. You don't wanna do anything to the second clip. Basically, if you just set as zero, you see that the transition hasn't started at this point. Obviously you wanna press the keyframe and set it as zero at that point. Point. At the end, you want to set it as 100 because at that point, the transition is done. So so set threshold as 100 at the end, and then that's all you have to do. The only thing I don't like about this is how it doesn't really fade out. It just kind of disappears like that. So you can use like any fading transition. So you can do like cross dissolve or something or additive dissolve. So here you can see it fades out. That's a little bit better. And yeah, if you want to transition out, it's very similar. It's basically the opposite. So let's just duplicate this clip right here. And instead of setting the keyframe at zero, then going to 100, you want to do 100 to zero right here. If we're going to start, I don't know, like right there. Let's delete these keyframes. If you want to start the transition fading out right now, you can kind of test it with, you know, changing the percentages. So at 100, you can see most of the first clip is showing. So what this means is you want that to be the starting point. So I move it to the very front. And if you go down to zero, none of the first clip is showing. So it's, it's really common sense, to be honest, just so you can see it fades out. Then it's normal again. So similar to the end on the first transition right here, it doesn't fade in properly, right? So what you want to do is go to cross dissolve and just apply it for the first clip. So select the first clip and go to cross dissolve and lower it a little bit. Now you can see it's a little bit more seamless. So if we press play right now, and then it fades out. It would have been better if I had a third clip, but you know, I don't really have that many clips. And this is from my trip in Ghana. Uh, if you want to see the gear I use, it'll be in the description. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you out. It's a very simple transition and it's very easy to edit. Obviously, you can see. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.